Welcome to David Fiore Art. I am David Fiore. Today we're going to focus on beginner dagger strokes, dots, lines, and a couple other things. Very important to know, to practice, and use for a warm up. So please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. Okay, welcome back. So what we're going to do is, this is the ultimate beginner things that everyone should be practicing. Lines, dots, figure eights, stuff like that. So the first one is you do a small dot, you get close to the paper. I'm gonna do it on an angle. You're supposed to be straight on with the paper, but I want everybody to see. So you could do a small dot. Get closer, you can be smaller. So, I use my pinky and my ring finger to be a guide for me, especially if I'm running a line. Paint's always, um, air's always on, no matter what I'm doing, so it's paint on paint off, but always leave the air around. So if I'm running, if I want to run a line and I want to keep it pretty close to the surface, I use my fingers for a guide. I, I just run it like that. But you notice my paint's up, my air is always on. That reduces uh, tip dry when working with blacks or grays and paint that has a thicker pigment in it. And then, of course, the farther away you get from the paper, the thicker your line will be. So if we do my finger length away, you get a thicker line. Then if I go my finger length away plus more, you're gonna get more of a gradation. And this is a type of line you would use to fade, do some fades in or fades out. And then of course, if you get real close to the paper, you get a nice thin super line. And how far do you pull back on the trigger gives you control. So when people talk about control over your airbrush or control over your paint, you need to find out where's comfortable for you to achieve similar results. So another thing that is really cool to do and, get, and just get in the habit of doing is practicing your dots and everything, your lines, you know, do figure eights, just endless loops, really. Let's see if you can keep them tight. And then come through. Get away from the paper, then go back into the paper. Like that. But also what I, I, I think is a cool exercise to do, and especially for beginners, show you guys uh, a cool uh, thing to practice. So first off, you just make a circle. Right? So inside this sphere, we want to do a, a smiley, have a smiley face, right? So you just come off here. Like that. And now at the bottom here, we're just going to give it a little bit of a shadow. And now you got a sphere with a shadow. I'm trying to give you guys ideas of stuff to work on. If I use that template, I can make that perfect. And it's good for planets and stuff like that. You can also, good warm ups for you. So you got your little dot. Just do a quick recap. Got your little dots, you got a little bit bigger dot.
a little bit bigger dot. And if I really wanted to do a heavy dot. like that. People always talk about dagger strokes and all a dagger stroke is is you start with a bigger dot and work it into a point. So actually uh, Lehi look it up his uh, YouTube channel and he does a Tech Tuesday which is cool and I never thought about dagger strokes this way. But when he's teaching people dagger strokes he teaches them how to make the bigger dot and then bring it down. So he's basically teaching a dagger stroke without calling it a dagger stroke. So what he says to do, and it does work, is you make your length and then when you come down, let's go to a point. So you start away and you end it in. So it's away from the paper and then as you go down and shut the paint off, you go towards the paper. So you go dagger strokes like this. Like that, you can do them sideways. And you can do them up. So where dagger strokes come into play is a lot of things that we airbrush have a dagger stroke in it, especially around teeth. If you have teeth, I don't know if you could, I'll use a red pen. So say you have, I'm just gonna do chiclets, All right? So say you got a row of teeth and We'll pretend these are really good teeth. So say you got a row of teeth and then you have a top row of teeth. Where the dagger stroke will come in, especially if you're doing a lot of skull work, comes in everywhere, but in the teeth, they'll there'll be dagger strokes defining the spaces in between the teeth. So, example would be like this. So it gives you the space in between the teeth. I'm not trying to get too technical, but it's basically just a dagger stroke and we can make them hard. And then if you want to outline through the center, basically just a dagger stroke going to the left and then a dagger stroke going to the right. And we can shape the teeth. like that. Now that you got the teeth shape, you can throw in you can throw in texture, you know, maybe you got some you gotta use your dots. Maybe they got some rotting teeth. like that. Maybe we use 
the one of the, the lines we done on this side, when the fade lines, and maybe this this half of the mouth is kind of faded into the back of the um, the teeth are faded into the back of the mouth. She start far away and just give it a give it a little bit of shade. Don't flood it. Line it with our lines that we've been practicing. Mm -hmm. Start in the center, get that dagger stroke going down. Going up. Really push them teeth forward because they're mostly white. And carve them out. So now you got the dagger strokes going down and up, and you got a little bit of fade. And basically all this works together for everything you do. And one of the coolest things I love to do, and it's good for everybody, is if you just make yourself a circle, you can have fun with it. Make yourself a circle, and you put a big in there, give it a half like that. Kind of like an egg-shaped eyeball looking from the side. Maybe some little eye veins coming in it. Reinforce this a little bit. Make that black. But now since we kind of have an oblong shape, we can go around the top here, far away, give it a little bit of shade, and then shade from the back and out. So dark under here, and real soft as you come out. So now you kind of got like a, you know, cool eyeball that looks kind of 3D. But I would highly recommend doing this type of exercise in a change paper. Just Start off real simple, and you do, do your dots. Do three different variations of dots. Practice your lines. Far away lines. Real far away lines, shading lines. And then also uh, practice your dagger strokes, whether you want to do a side dagger. Or you want to do daggers from top to bottom. Our daggers going up. Fill up one piece of paper doing your dots, your lines, and your daggers. And then your hand will be warmed up, you'll be used to the gun by then, and uh, you can get down and paint. Uh, if you wanna do, if you want another one to do, it's pretty cool, as you can incorporate in here. It's, I guess it's called zigzag lines. I do curly cues until zigzags. So, do these, like a spring, and then run it. like this and then up and go around like that then you can go inside and play around and say oh these are eyeballs hit them with your dots right inside here this is where you can practice your daggers so I to me this already looks like a dagger stroke 
So, there's an exaggerated dagger that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Like that. Kind of gives it a bubble effect. Kind of teach you a little bit shading. If you want to use a thick line to shade, so we got eyeballs, we got daggers going. Now I'll come around the side here and just leave some space in between the paper. And that way it gives you a rounded appearance. And that way you can work your way into shading and things of that nature. You go into a small little circle and just keep going the circles down. And bring them back out. And run a line. But always keep your uh, airs on. Pull back for paint, air back on. So my air is constantly going. Say, oh, I'm gonna do something in here. Show a line in here. Air still on, paint's off. Go back up. Air and paint are on. Paint's off, air's still gone. And just have this doodle. Let's basically what you wanna do is get comfortable with your airbrush and your trigger control. You can even make, you can start here and make your dots bigger by going out. Gives more coverage. Like that. You can stay right in there, hit that dot again, and push it to a dagger. Like that. And that's it. So practice your, practice some spheres, try and get them 3D, have fun with them, turn them into an eyeball, practice daggers, pretend you're making teeth and do your dagger strokes in between the teeth. So it gives a purpose to the gun. Like these ones right here, these were, if I was working on this, and then it was inside the mouth. The mouth ridge would be probably gum line, probably coming like right here. So I would start up into gum line. And then dagger down. Like that. Let me go through. Cover a little bit up of the top tooth. Same thing on the bottom, say you got a arch like that. Start right in the arch, give it a dagger. And now that's done, you're gonna go in through and you're gonna, you're gonna round it off. You know, you got a nose right here. Stuff like that. You just play around, have fun with it. Basically, doodle or draw. Try and draw or doodle with your airbrush until all this stuff becomes like second nature. Like I'm doing it quick and I want you guys out there to learn. But if I really had to get super serious with, uh, with a line, say it's a close line, I've been practicing my lines so I can get them pretty decent and straight. Little baby lines. Like that, air still on, paints off. So all this helps. Just doodle, practice, um, 
dots, dagger strokes, and work stuff in. If you see something in your in your head, like this right here, when I did this, it's basically a dagger stroke going this way, a dagger stroke going that way, a dagger stroke going that way, a dagger stroke going that way. And then when you round it off, it kind of gives like a 3D impression. The eyeballs, you can go around and practice your shading around stuff. You can say about three inches off the paper. And just give it that bubble letter effect. Right? You go farther off the paper. That's where shading comes in. But yeah, dots, lines, daggers, dagger sideways. But check out Steve Lehigh's Text Tuesday on how it's called I Hate Daggers Strokes. And he gives a really good fundamental approach to doing them. And what he has his students do, as you'll see in the video, is he has them do it gradually and then do a line coming off it and stop the paint. So he has them do a circle with a line coming off it and stop the paint. Now, if you do that, and you, as you go down, as you go, go towards the paper more, you're going to come up with a dagger stroke. So if you're doing this, and you're coming in, it's hard for me to do them slow, but you get the idea. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys would like, subscribe, and share, uh, this video to help grow my channel. Once again, I'm David Fiore from David Fiore Art. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below, whether good or bad. I'd be more than happy to address them. See you in about a week and a half.